I work on something scuba.com. This session we're looking at the Sunto D9 watch style dive computer. Let's take a closer look. Okay, so we'll take a look at some of the features on the uh, dive computer then. It comes in a either rubberized strap, we also get a stainless steel strap as well. Obviously being a watch style computer, we have a nice low profile as you tend to wear it on your wrist, wrist a little more. Makes it a little more comfortable, a little more nice on your wrist. We have some nice large buttons on the outside as well. These protrude nicely so they're nice and easy to locate, especially if you've got gloves on as well and they're easy to depress. Nice large dot matrix screen in the centre as well. Makes it really easy to read the contents, especially when you're underwater. So some of the features we've got built into the computer system itself. We have a, a dual mix option, so you can switch between mixes during the dive. We have altitude adjustment as well, so if you're diving above sea level, you can go into the system, make the relevant changes, and then the computer can make the calculations for you. We have audio and visual alarms built in to alert you. We also have a digital compass as well. There's a PC interface as well that you can buy optionally extra. Just plugs into the side here, and you can transfer all the contents of the dive computer onto a PC, get some extra bits and pieces like graphs, and obviously store your logbook on there as well. You also have a dive planner built in, making you extra prepared for your dive before you even enter the water. So let's take a look at the menu system. So the menu on the dive computer is navigated via the buttons just on the outside. You have a mode button, a select button in the top corner, and some up and down keys just in the bottom as well. It's currently sat in its time mode. This is the default mode that the computer switches to. Obviously, if you wear it as your standard watch as well, this is the mode you'll have it sat on for the majority of the time. So on the time mode, as you can see, we have a nice large time display. We have the date indicated just in the bottom corner here and also the day. You can change this information at the bottom just by pressing the up key in the bottom corner here. You can then display seconds. There's a dual time and also a stopwatch. You can access time settings by holding down the down button just for a few seconds, which will send you through to the time settings menu. This is then navigated again with the up and down keys. You can scroll through things such as alarms, times, dual times, dates, and other various settings. To select one of these, just highlight it and then press the select key and then make the relevant changes again with the up and down keys at the bottom. At any stage, you can push the mode button again, which will send you back one step in the menu, pressing it again, and then take you back to the original screen. You can also hold down the select button at this stage for a few seconds, which then activates the digital compass. And then again, by holding down the down menu, will then send you through to the compass settings, where here you can calibrate it and other various settings there as well. Again, pressing the mode button then sends you back one step and then back to your original screen. So some of the other modes we have here then, again, pressing the mode button, we have dive modes and also memory modes. If you take a look at the dive modes, you have air, nitrox and a gauge mode. You can also turn dive modes off. Take a look at the air settings. So obviously being a water activated computer as well, once you enter the water, you'll be automatically sent to this screen. Here you'll find your depth. At the surface at the moment, we have the surface time and no-fly time. So obviously once the computer's submerged, you'll get other additional information displayed in there. Then at the bottom, we have water temperature and max depth. As with the time, you can change these settings at the bottom by pressing the up and down keys. You can show your total dive time and also current time. Again, by holding down the down button for a couple of seconds, which will then send you through to the dive settings area, where you can change things like dive alarms, dive time alarms, personal altitude, and various other bits and pieces. Again, by pressing the select button, it sends you through to these areas. And again, you can make the relevant changes with the up and down keys on the bottom, and then go back via the mode button at the top. Again, holding down the select key in dive mode also activates the digital compass again, so you can see that. Also displays your depth, and again, various other information at the bottom by pressing the up and down keys. So some of the other modes we have. Memory, we have a planner. 
This quickly shows any extra desaturation time remaining, then sends you through. And again, using the up and down keys, you can set your planned maximum depth, which will then show you your no decompression time, which is ideal. You can be all currently prepared for your dive before you even enter the water. We also have a history and log book. The log book obviously stores all your dives, stores around between 47 to 50 hours approximately of dive time. Obviously this hasn't got any dives currently stored on it. You can then use, again, the up and down keys to flick through your stored dives. And with using that optional PC interface, you can then transmit all your stored dives onto your PC. The history stores the relevant information from your last dive. So if you have a log book that you want to store your information in after your dive, you can go to this screen at a later date and get all the relevant information from your previous dive. So as you can see, it's a really easy to navigate menu, nice and clear screen, really easy to use.